The Shape Merge Compound Object is useful for creating logos and signage. In this demo, I'll show you how to make 3D lettering that's raised off of a surface, and it will cast a shadow, which can be useful in some situations. This technique would also work if you have a geometrical logo that you've sketched as a spline, and you want to merge it into some geometry. I'll start by going to the Shapes category and choosing the Text tool. Here I'll type in some text. I have a hypothetical business called Abacus Design and I'll just click a point to put in that text. I'll change the font and unfortunately there's no preview of it here but what you can do is highlight this field by selecting a different font and then click the down arrow or the up arrow and you'll be able to toggle through different fonts and you'll see the result on the screen. I'll go into the top viewport and let's center that by moving it to the origin point. I'll go back to modify and adjust the kerning and leading. Kerning refers to the space between the letters and leading refers to the space between the lines so in this case I'm going to drag the leading down to pull design upwards a bit. In the end this text object generates a spline for you. I'll go to geometry and create a box that goes around this object. Now I need to look at it in perspective to see how it looks. I'll select the text and pull that up in the Z direction so that it's above the box. Now I'll select the box and add some additional segments to it and to see that I need to turn on edged faces so that we have additional we have sufficient topology in order to merge this text into the mesh. So now we're ready. I'll select Compound Objects, Shape Merge, and then pick Shape. Click on the text, and in a moment you'll see that the shape has been merged into the mesh structure it's instanced by default so that if you make any changes to the text object it will update in the mesh. Now I'll turn off pick shape and I'd like to output a sub mesh, mesh selection up the stack. I'll output a face selection and that will select all of the inner parts of the letters and it passes it up the stack. We'll use that fact to help us extrude the text in a moment. But first, I'll assign the material modifier, and I'll give it material ID number 2. In this way, the extruded text can have a different material from the sign itself. Then I'll use the face extrude modifier to pull that text out of the plane of the sign. And I'll just increase the amount and you'll see it rise. Now I'm going to turn off the grid. I'm going to hide the unselected and I'll zoom in here a little closer. So we have three-dimensional text now and if we change the scale here you'll see that we can either enlarge the text or more likely make it just a little bit smaller and that will create a beveled effect. Just do a very slight amount, maybe only 95 percent here and we'll get a nice inward leaning to each one of the letters. Now to assign a material we'll open the material editor and 
I'll change the material type to multi sub object and discard the old material. Now I'll cover this in much greater detail in the texturing module. Change the set number to 2 because we have two submaterials here. I'll call this material sign and I'll assign it to the selection. Then I'll give material number one a red color and material number two a blue color. 